Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla, and today we are in the city of Canalville, where we are going to be working on our big new island that we did on the last episode. And if anybody didn't check that out, we actually did a really cool marina in here that I thought looked, came out really well. Um, I really like the look of it. I like this middle section that we did. I thought that the gravel in there looked really cool. And I like that we got these two buildings in there too. It really adds like a cool kind of height difference in there that I think is just really fun to have inside your cities. And it's kind of funny, you know, it's like I take a step back and I look at this city and we just kind of see like we got our naval kind of base over here. We got the agricultural area. We have that huge island that we worked on for a while over here. And then we have our main island and now we're working on this guy. And, and this city has just gotten so big and we're only at about 75,000 population. So we still have a ways to go. But we have some really cool builds in here. Um, I do have the saves up for my members if anybody's interested. Um, and I super appreciate anybody who supports me on Patreon and the YouTube memberships. It really helps me out a lot. But man, I just, you know, this city is definitely probably the best city I've ever done. It's definitely the one that I'm the most proud of. Um, I think this just looks really good. I really like the area. I like the idea of this whole canal city. Um, I think it looks really cool. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. And so on today's episode, we are going to be working on our country club. And I think we're definitely going to have to break this up into a couple episodes because we need to do a freeway right here. I don't know if we're going to do that this episode. I think what we're primarily going to be focusing on in this episode is placing down our holes, doing some residential, and then some detailing. I really want to create some fun spaces. And so I did um, have to search around on the Steam Workshop for some golf courses. It was kind of uh, tough to find like a full set. Um, so I think what I stumbled on, so it looks like I actually do have these Banif ones. Let's go ahead and check out this one. So hole number one, that um, looks like it's incomplete. Yeah, so if we, cause there's no hole in that one. Yeah, so maybe one, golf hole one. Is there one and a half maybe? Here's two, so there's three. Yeah, it looks like some of these are missing things. Um, a lot of the golf courses seem to have issues loading in, um, they just kept failing on the loading screen mod and so i did find this pinehurst golf course which i think is just fantastic um though the holes are pretty large but i mean in real life a lot of times these are pretty tough and and this is something that i really do enjoy in real life this is one of my main hobbies is golfing and so um what i'm hoping to do is capture a little bit of realism here um and having these kind of country club suburban in neighborhood golf courses is actually super common um especially in las vegas where i'm from and it's kind of funny i definitely prefer playing golf courses that aren't in houses just because a lot of times it can be really tight and and say you get a wrong shot or something you could hit a house or something which it's kind of funny you do tend to see houses that have a bunch of just riddled uh, holes on the side and stuff and it's just uh, really crazy when you think about it um, so one of the things that you do want to do, the first hole and the 18th hole a lot of times tend to be near the clubhouse. Um, just kind of makes it a little easier. So like as you're golfing around, you end up going back to one central building. Um, it's definitely not a requirement. There's um, quite a few golf courses where the 18th hole will be kind of farther away. And then you just kind of take a little golf cart path back to it. Um, but I think it's something that I want to try to capture here. So I think what we'll do is we will do our country club right here and we will have the first hole will go like right here. And I don't think we're going to do any houses in this one. We'll literally just do the country club and then um, the like a driving range and an open grass area, maybe even a little restaurant, kind of make it nice. Um, one of the things we do need to do, though, I'd kind of forgotten was we need to uh, paint this in as a park area in order to get the holes to work. They need to be in a park. And so it just makes it a little bit easier if I paint it all. And so I'm going to go ahead and get this done real quick. OK, so it is all painted. And so now we do need to do an entrance as well. So let's actually jump in here and go to a road hmm so we have this road coming up here and i don't want the road to really impede a lot of it maybe we could have this go up here and then turn so let's jump into our roads and i think we have um for some reason my picker mods not here i'm, I'm guessing when i had to uh, go back into the mods it probably reset them and so we'll just uh, pretend like that's not a problem and so we will come in here go to unmodded continue straight and what i want this to do is actually curve up and land probably about like right here yeah i think this is going to be fantastic so we'll go like right here let's go ahead and look at that so how does that look it actually doesn't look terrible we're definitely going to have some issues with our fairies in here and it's kind of funny um i had mentioned joe fairy in the last episode and somebody mentioned that uh, he is also in verde beach and i thought it was just kind of fun to think about that maybe he uh, has a huge conglomerate um though his backstory here was that the fairy empire had started in this city and so to see him in another city, it was kind of like, oh, wow, I, uh, I hadn't seen that. 
Um, I definitely try to stay up to date on a lot of other people's series, but it's not always easy. Um, creating videos and stuff can uh, be a challenge and then staying on top of watching everybody's videos as well, especially with so many great creators out there. So what we're going to do is go ahead and turn this around and then we will, you know, maybe we could actually have that go straight. So if we have that continue on, yeah, if we have this go this way, I feel like this is going to be even better. Yeah, we'll go like that and then we'll have it um, connect up with the freeway right there. I feel like that's going to be fantastic. We'll jump into a two unit road and we can actually make this into, let's jump into a nice road. So we're going to do a nice tree lined road and we're going to have this come down here and then we're probably going to do like a parking lot and then... So you, you definitely need a lot of parking. So maybe we'll do a lot of parking over here with a little restaurant and then the, the main little entrance right here. And we need to do uh, our park entrance. So we'll come in here, go to our handy dandy park entrance. We're just going to do this small one. And I'm probably going to uh, anarchy our country club on top of that just so that we can kind of hide it. Um, so let's go back to our golf courses. So we're going to do this pine horse, Pinehurst. This is hole number one. So I want to kind of tuck this in the back. I'm going to go like right here. And then what we're going to do is do little uh, golf cart paths that are going to go around. So then now we want to go to hole number two. Where is this guy right there? So then we are going to, I think I'm, I want to follow like a really cool, like going into the water kind of look. So I think what we'll do is go like right here and then we will end up just uh, going into the level train tool and bringing that out just a little bit. Cause I feel like this is going to be a fun opportunity to do like some rocks and, and stuff like that and just turn it into a really cool area. But then let's go ahead and do hole number three now. So we're going to jump back in here, find the little three. This one's pretty big as well. So maybe we will go right here cause we do want to get some houses in here as well. So I think we'll go like right there. Yeah, I feel like that's perfect. And then let's go to four. Four is right here. And this one's actually pretty big as well. So maybe we'll come up over here. Let's actually jump into a road and see what kind of spacing we're working out with. They don't necessarily need to be four by fours. Even if we get little two by twos, I feel like that would be good. It's kind of funny. These are definitely uh, farther away than what I was thinking. So we can bring this in. We'll go like right there. Yeah, that'll be perfect. We'll probably do a little cul-de-sac with some housing. I feel like that is fantastic. So then we will go back to four, come up over here, and I want to do the same thing. We're going to do right out into the water. I feel like this is going to be really cool. And a lot of times you definitely, when you're playing, you'll uh, be playing down a fairway and you'll see the other fairway on the other side, like golf carts going up and stuff. Sometimes, I mean, if you even get a bad shot, your ball will just land on the other fairway. And the next thing you know, you're like having to hit your ball back onto the main fairway. I'm definitely not a pro at playing golf, but uh, I do my best and it, it is definitely fun. And so, <laughs> um, so we'll go like that and then we will come in here and go to five. So we got that, we got that coming back. So we're gonna do some houses coming in here, houses right there. So let's have this one come back here. Maybe we'll actually, ooh, you know, we could go right there cause then we could squeeze some houses on that other side. Let's go back in here cause I feel like my my distances are a little off. Yeah, they, they definitely are. Um, it's kind of funny, just zoomed out. It feels like the four by slots are gonna be so much bigger, but we're really far out here. because so I should probably look at these buildings as reference. So then we can go like this and then, yeah, we can get some housing pretty close in there. Yeah, that would be really cool right there. And then, um, so we got four or five, let's go into six and let's see what we're working with. So if we go all the way down here, I feel like, ooh, six is actually a small one. So we could probably fit six like right here. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be cool. We could actually, um, let's go ahead and tuck that in right next to each other. So we're gonna go like that and then we'll be able to put some housing on that other side. And it looks like I accidentally hit it again. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And then let's um, jump over to this other island and we are going to do seven. So we are going to, so we're, they're coming up this way. So we want them to go, let's actually have it go right off the water. I feel like that would be just fantastic. And then we're going to go up to eight. Ooh, and eight's actually kind of a big one. So you know, we could actually, we could do this one again. We will um, go like right there. And that is a little bit of a drive, but it's not much with the golf cart. And a lot of the fun with golfing is driving around the golf cart. So uh, you come in here, we will go to nine now. Ooh, a nine's kind of a small one. So we could bring, let's see again what, what our, our uh, road looks like. So we got some houses that are able to go in there. We got some ones coming in here. So I feel like if we go like right here, let's actually put it right off the water because then this would just be like a really tight par three. So then we will go into a 10. Ooh, and this is like a big par five. This one's actually super big. So let's actually, um, oh, this could actually be a fun idea. So maybe we will have this protrude out. This would be a tough hole. Yeah, we'll go like that. 
and then let's um come in here and go to go like right there yeah perfect nice i feel like that's actually a really cool hole right there so um, one cool thing that you got to uh, know um, after the ninth hole is uh, called the turn and it's like you're turning back towards the clubhouse and so we have to put like a little uh, like kind of restaurant area here a lot of times there's a little shack or a small building depending on where you're at um, and it's just so you can maybe get some food um, typical playtime if you're with like a group of four is about four four or five hours um, and so you tend to eat some food maybe you do some drink and stuff like that and so we would want to do a small building right there so we're going to come in here go to 11 now Let's go ahead and come back. So we're going to go like right there. Again, I feel like just because of how big these are, my distances are a little off. So we are going to stretch that out just a smidge. And then let's come in here, go to 12. Yeah, there we go. Nice. This is already coming together really cool. So we could do like right there and put some houses on that backside. That'll be fun. So then let's go to 13 and we're actually already almost done. So it's 18 holes. So we want to go 13. No, oh, this one's kind of small. So maybe we will have this one go right next to the water. I feel like that could be good. So we'll go like that and we could still squeeze some homes back there. I feel like that would be fantastic. And so we'll go to 14 now. Let's go ahead and jump across the road. And that way we can leave a little room in here to do maybe like a little shopping center or something like that. So a lot of times with these, they kind of weave in and out through the neighborhood. Um, it really just depends on the space available. Sometimes too, you'll see these just in the middle where... Um, the golf course, there's no homes in the middle of the actual course. They're just kind of around the outside. Um, it really all just depends. So now we'll go 14. We're going to come up and go like right there. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. And then let's do 15. All right. Ooh, 15 is kind of small. Ooh, we could do 15 right here. That'd be kind of tough, like hit over the road. It's not very realistic, though. Uh, it's kind of dangerous. That could definitely be dangerous. So maybe we'll have this turn. We'll have this go like right there and yeah, we'll go 15. There we go. So we're going to hit back. This is actually a pretty big one. Ooh, so we could fit some homes in the middle there. That would be cool. So 16 and then let's do 17 and then we only got one more. So 17. Ooh, this is kind of a small one too. We could actually fit this one right in here. This is where our parking lot was going to go though. No, you know what? Maybe we're going to have the trip from 16 to 17 be a little tough because I would prefer that this was uh, 18 coming back. So we're going to actually, you know, maybe we could do one in the middle. Maybe we'll do 17 right there and then let's take a look at 18. Just see what it looks like, because then we can actually move one to the middle and uh, have 18 kind of across the water. It's still really close by, but yeah, I feel like this would actually be good. So we're going to go like this and then we're going to have a path go across. And then that way we can actually move this. And then let's see about some practice ranges that we got. So we got a little practice tee. This would be for like putting or chipping, something like that. A lot of times you have like a sand trap in there just so you can kind of warm up. Um, and so we got ooh, Pebble Beach. That would have been fun. So this one's another little practice screen. I think the first one looks a little better, but we're going to do multiple of these. A lot of times you, it's not just one. And so I do want to see if we got a driving range. Man, I was trying to get Augusta in here. Felt like Augusta would be cool. I've actually seen Augusta. I've never played it, but uh, we were in Augusta and I wanted to see the golf course. It's where the Masters are played. It was actually a really cool uh, little experience. So I think, oh yeah, so I have a driving range. Nice. So we are going to go ahead and place the driving range. We're going to go, we're going to place the driving range right here. And then um, what we're going to do is grab our little practice greens. These ones, little putting greens. And we're going to go ahead and place them over here. And I got some flags and stuff too, because a lot of times you still have flags in here. And then a lot of times with these, I kind of surprised this isn't longer because we could do an enclosed driving range. Um, so what I want to do is put in some water features. I definitely want to get some housing in here. And I'm glad it didn't take up the whole space in my test. I was kind of sprawled out a little more. And I feel like this is definitely a little bit better of a look. Um, so I did get a country club in here too. Let's go ahead and check this place out. Yeah, this thing is just gigantic. I don't even know. if So Green Beer Golf Resort. This is huge. Though I actually have been to a golf resort that that, um, is pretty I mean really nice like this in Las Vegas they have one called Paiute and it's a little out of Vegas but um it's definitely it's a great course if you like golfing they have three courses there and they're just fantastic um, but they're not neighborhood courses either which is really fun so you get to uh, kind of just play out in the open which is always nice so I think we will go like right there this is definitely a huge one though they'd probably have balconies there'd be a little restaurant back here I feel like that's actually a really nice touch so we will come back in here. Let's go to a four unit road. We're going to grab this 
we're going to go ahead and turn on snapping. Let's come back now. Yeah, let's go like right there. And then let's go into a one unit road. And I just, just because I feel like a two unit road is a little too big for in there. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and switch this. Looks like we need to unlock it first. So we're going to come in here, go to unlock road, unlock both of them. Uh, of course, I have to right click out of that first. And then we will go like that. Yeah, that's just so much better. Um, it does look like we need to uh, kind of play around with that just a smidge. I feel like uh, it's got a little curve in it. I don't know if I can can really uh, change that though. So we're going to uh, connect this up, go like that. We're going to connect this up, go like that. Nice. So it's just a really cool look. And I actually kind of like the, the little park entrance in the middle. I feel like that's actually a nice touch. Maybe we'll do a little gate around. I feel like that is um, actually really nice. So this would be like a place where they'd probably have a spa that you would um, stay over the weekend and then probably go golfing. And uh, I mean, obviously probably go golfing, but um, I'm guessing people would probably still stay here and maybe not go golf. Um, the last course I actually played was in Phoenix and it was called the Arizona Grand and it was like a golf resort. And it was actually really cool. The, the main hole was like right off the back, just like this. So um, right from the hotel lobby, like you could see hole number one, just like feel the pressure whenever you're hitting that first hole. It was kind of cool too. Um, it was a little island and then it had some water around it and you had to hit uphill. And so now what we want to do is actually start designing our neighborhood around around and so i do want to be mindful of a couple things we definitely want to be mindful of the aesthetic so what i would want to do is come in here let's go ahead and turn off snapping we're going to follow this down and then we will have it curve around and just do like a little turn around kind of cul-de-sac area so we'll have this go like this and then go like this and then loop around and i could just do a roundabout as well but i really wanted to get a different kind of look in here i didn't want to just do a roundabout yeah we'll go like that and of course it messes this road up so i'm going to to grab that real quick and just bring it back and then let's um look at that zoning yeah that looks pretty good i actually think we may move that back just a smidge more so if i go ahead and grab all that yeah you know what i think that looks fantastic nice and so let's go ahead and follow this now so we're going to come out here and i would imagine that there'd probably be some sort of main road maybe right here so we'll grab this and then we will bring this down yeah i think this is going to be perfect and then let's go ahead and do a couple little inlets as well. So we will grab this and there we go. So we got two little uh, cul-de-sacs already and I feel like this looks pretty good though. I do wish that those necessarily weren't 90s, but um, I don't think it's the end of the world. So we'll go ahead and follow this down and then let's go ahead and just loop this one around. So we'll go like this. Nice, I feel like that one looks even better. I like that a lot. And so let's go ahead and follow this one now. So we'll go ahead and loop this around and then go this way. Yeah, you know what? I want that to be with housing on both sides. So I think what we'll do is go ahead and get rid of that. And then that way we can um, come in here and actually draw it out a little bit better so that we get some, some better zoning off of this. So if we come this way and then follow it around and then that way we can do another little cul-de-sac back here. Nice. I feel like this looks really cool. I do kind of wish that these were a little different though. Them being all being the same is kind of interesting. I don't know if they look as good. And then we do need to figure out a way that we're going to cross these over the key walls. So maybe we will come up over here and do a bridge across. So then now we will go down and then let's go ahead and turn this up. And we'll follow this around. And let's actually just do this one a straight cul-de-sac. Yeah, that's good. So then we will have this one go around, go like that. And so the idea is for us to get a couple little neighborhoods in here as well. So we'll go like this, follow this down, go like that. And let's go ahead and connect this up. Nice. And then let's, um, I actually feel like that looks a little better rather than the turnarounds. But now what we'll do is go up here and follow this down. So we'll go like that. And then let's go ahead and go like this. And then that way we can actually have this one go up. So maybe we will have this um, turn into a cul-de-sac right here. And then we'll have the road kind of go up like this. And it definitely leaves some room for us to be able to do like maybe a little shopping center or something right there. I feel like that could be good. Because where was nine? So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this was nine. So we definitely would want to get like a little shack in there or something. So I feel like that looks pretty good. And so now let's um, come over here and we could connect those up again, though I'm not entirely sure how we would do that. Maybe we would have this go this way and just follow the road and put the homes on the side of the water. I feel like that could be good. That's one of the things here. There's really no right or wrong way to do a lot of this. It's really just around what you feel like is going to look good for your city. Um, now, I mean, there's definitely uh, certain patterns and ways that golf courses are designed but that doesn't need to be perfect so we'll go ahead and connect this up and then um so that's good right there 
Let's go ahead and jump into our freeform tool and we will come back down here. Yeah, we'll go like that. Nice, I feel like that looks good. That's kind of funny. I definitely think that the loops don't look as good. So I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and switch this around. And I feel like this is actually a good opportunity for us to maybe follow that golf course a little bit. So if we go this way, have it come down, and then what we can do is just have it a uh, loop. You know, and I feel like that looks pretty good. They all still kind of loop the same direction. I feel like maybe if we looped it the other way, it would look better, but I like the little these little cul-de-sac looks a little bit better. I feel like they just look fantastic. And so over here, we have an opportunity for quite a few things. So we could bring this down, have it go right there. And then what we'll do is probably just have this one go up. Yeah, I feel like that's good. And then we will have this go like right there. Nice. I feel like that is fantastic. We could actually have that one go like that too. So let's um bring this down. And there we go. Perfect. So that's a little dual cul-de-sac. Yeah, you know what? I actually really like the look of that. I feel like that looks fantastic. Um, it's definitely these neighborhoods are designed around driving, um, though we're gonna do a ton of walking paths everywhere. Um, in Vegas, there's actually quite a few like master plan communities that have golf courses in them. And one of the cool things that's a, that I really enjoy about them is that there tends to be a lot of walking paths, um, like they do walking path tunnels and they literally follow um, throughout the whole neighborhoods. It's actually really cool. Um, so like when the golf course is, isn't open, and you can kind of walk around and maybe walk your dog or something like that and, and still enjoy the the grass and stuff like that and so now we will come up over here let's go ahead and turn this one down i'm not really sure exactly what we're going to do with the rest of this area yet so i don't want to get ahead of myself so we will come up over here have it turn and then go this way yeah you know what i feel like this is fantastic i really like the look of this already so I do want to, let's go ahead and get water pipes in here first because it looks like we're having some issues with uh, with our golf courses and water would definitely be important for these. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw in water pipes real quick. Okay, so water pipes in, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I got them in over there. Nice, so that we can unpause it. And so one of the things I do wanna do is actually turn this into a kind of gated community. So I think for over here, this will be like a, a bigger road. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into a tune road and I'm gonna use one with trees, make it a little bit nicer. And we are going to, uh, yeah, turn this into a gated community cause just cause um, with it being a country club, it would probably be on the higher scale, like maybe even mansions, um, but then uh, just controlled access for safety and stuff like that. And so we have an access point right there and we have an access point right there. And this definitely would not be great for like fire coverage and stuff like that. But the idea is that the homes are kind of spread apart and, and it's more about land value and uh kind of being secluded than it really is about like proximity to shops and stuff like that um that's funny the game doesn't really work like that and so we're probably gonna have to work around with um some sort of services like maybe we'll kind of tuck some back here you do tend to see schools and stuff like this um like i've seen middle schools and uh, high schools in areas that are similar to this not within the gated community but they're definitely in the broader area and so we'll probably end up doing some stuff like that. Okay, and so now what I wanna do is go in here and start placing down some houses. And I don't think that just zoning this out is really gonna help capture the look that we're going for here. So what I'm gonna use is those rural America homes. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I thought it was rural, but it's American suburb. So, uh, so we're going to come around and basically place these down. And some of them are actually going to be right off of the golf course itself. Um, and the reason for this, is because this is actually pretty natural. A lot of times, especially so like right here, here's the tees. They would be teeing off. Maybe this house wouldn't be right there. So maybe we'll go like this because you definitely would want to protect some of the houses. But sometimes you see like big, um, big fences or nets that will protect homes. And sometimes you don't, it really depends. Um, a lot of times, actually every time, if you're golfing on a course like this and you hit a house, you're responsible for that. And so um, it is something that you definitely have to be mindful of if you're not that good of a player. Um, I've never like hit a house like that, but I have, um, I mean, scaved them before. I've hit ceilings. Um, I've hit the roofs on top of houses, but I've never like taken out a window, you know, or something crazy like that. Um, and so like these ones, so this one's right on the fairway. These ones, you could definitely see them being a little bit closer. Sometimes they'll literally be like right off the fairway like that. And so I think this is a really cool look. I really want to capture something that's going to be fun in here. Um, and then we are going to do some backyards and stuff. I don't know if we'll keep that one there. That one's pretty close. So if you're coming down here, yeah, that house would definitely be like right in the way. Um, so I think what we'll do is since this one's not going to allow us to fit any of these bigger buildings, we're going to uh, go ahead and get rid of it and turn it into one of those little just plain cul-de-sacs. I think that's just gonna work out a little bit better. Even though I did like that turnaround, I feel like the cul-de-sac's just gonna be so much better. And so we'll go like that. And then, so I'm gonna go through here and literally just place all these down. 
and then I will be right back with you guys and we'll do some backyards and really make it look fun. I want to uh, decorate the clubhouse and and uh, just turn make this whole area just look fantastic. We'll probably do some entrances and it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm basically just going to place them down. I'll probably end up copying um, some segments of them and then just filling in this whole area and then we'll be able to do uh, fill in the rest whenever we are done. And so I'm going to go ahead and get that done real quick. Okay, so here is our first neighborhood. And it's kind of funny, after placing all these, I realized that we need to do a uh, golf cart pass first. So golf cart paths are basically how, uh, I mean, it's pretty simple. The golf carts will navigate the course. So you almost always will have concrete path that will follow along the outside. And there's actually a lot of regulations around uh, like driving on grass, especially during certain times of the year, um, because for like year round courses, they'll actually reseed and run two types of grass depending on the outside weather. And uh, it allows them to stay open. Whereas um, in areas where it snows, they obviously close down. But in places like Las Vegas or Phoenix in around August or September, based off of how hot it is, um, they'll actually reseed. So they'll go through, let all the grass die and then do a winter grass that can uh, kind of survive a little bit colder weather. And so basically the idea is, is we want to be able to connect up all the T's. So we'll come down here, go straight and then just run the path going right next to it. They typically follow the the golf course going all the way down okay so i got the entire course hooked up by golf cart paths which is fantastic and so now what i want to do is uh, go back to placing down these homes so i'm going to go ahead and plop them all in and then i will be right back with you guys okay so i have finally finished the houses and i think this just looks really good i like the look of this a lot though it does look like we're having some water issues over there we'll have to address that in just a second um, but then I also changed these bridges. I went with the bridges and piers one just because I felt like they looked a lot better over here. I really like the look of this. I think it just looks fantastic. And so now what I want to do is jump in here and we are going to create some water hazards or little ponds for our area now. And we're going to have to be pretty careful because I want to get some in some of these little tighter areas. So what we're going to do is come in here and we'll just shift a little bit of terrain. It was definitely a lot more than we needed, but then we will come in here and just create one. And then what we're going to do is come back through and soften up the top. So we definitely want these to be close to the holes, but we don't want the grass just because of the way that this game works to be um, in the hole. So I think like right there is probably good. Go into water sources, grab this place water source, go all the way down. And we got to be really careful with this. And you want to make sure to have it paused so that you can get it nice in there on a good. So if we go like right there, that should be good. And then that way we can come back in here again and go to level terrain. Just go like that, go like that. And then clean this up again. I don't care if it's right off the edge on some of those because these are supposed to be hazards. So the ball would technically roll in for a lot of these. That's kind of what makes it more difficult. Um, but then for a lot of them too, like this one, it's just more for about the view, but then also hooking it into the into the water or uh, slicing it. Have, having stuff like that just kind of makes your golf course look a little more real. Um, I think coming in here and doing some in here as well would also be really fun. So we'll probably come down here and then go, just grab a height, go like that. We don't even be super deep, but then I will go ahead and drop another water source in there, bring it all the way down, go like right there. Yeah, that's fantastic. And then I want to do one right here. So we'll come in here, go to shift terrain, grab that. And then let's go in here. We don't want it to be deep. You definitely get a better look out of it if it's not super deep. So we'll go like right here. I feel like this is fantastic. And this is definitely something that you see on golf courses as well. A lot of times the houses will be right off the water and it's just kind of part of the appeal. And so let's, we got one right there. We got one right there. We got one right there. Let's go ahead and put one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing real quick. And voila, so we got another one over there. So we got, where could we fit another one where it would look good? I mean, right here could actually look interesting. So let's go in there. We're going to right click on this little basin. We're going to just go like right there, kind of a smaller one. And one of the cool things too we'll end up doing is coming through and doing um, some little jets and stuff in a lot of them because they just, they definitely have those a lot. So we'll go like that. Some of these are going to be really small. Like that one we just did is definitely really small. I don't even know if we would need that one. So I think, ooh, this one would be good too. Maybe we could even have this one kind of jet in from the from here. So if we grab that and bring this in, yeah, if we go like that, that actually looks really cool. So we'll have the water kind of come in because another thing I want to do is come through here and we're going to put some rocks on the side of these and just uh, make them look really cool. Like that would be kind of the appeal, especially like this hole um, hitting into it. 
you would have um you know the backside would be the water so if you over hit it it would go into the water and so so i think um i think this looks pretty good i want to leave this empty this side empty because i think we're going to do like a big private elementary kind of school area and then it'll also encompass this area because we still need to do that school and then we also need to do some services too so i think we're going to do some trash collection and stuff like that over there um, but then i think this area would just be fantastic for a pond um, especially being right next to this like you the restaurant could have like seating out on the water and it would just look really cool and this is definitely something that you see as well where a hole will literally um, just follow water going all the way down and it definitely it increases the challenge of it so we'll go ahead and drop that down let's get it in there and we'll go like right there perfect and then let's go ahead and hit play and i'm gonna go ahead and check that water pipe real quick make sure that all of our houses are covered yeah we are good now and so now let's just wait and see if we have any issues with our flooding so I'm just going to let this run for a second and then we will come back in uh, and assess our water. It looks like this one's maybe having some issues. This one looks good. That looks pretty good. I like these little small ones. Those look pretty good. Um, I think this may be the only one, but um, let's go ahead and wait and see. All right. So we let them flood out and this definitely was the only one we kind of flooded a little bit. We kind of flooded right here as well. I went ahead and dropped the water source down just because it was kind of encroaching upon this and it getting into that sand trap is definitely not the most realistic because um, then it would just kind of make that all wet and you really wouldn't be able to hit out of it, it would be kind of impossible. Um, but the rest of these look really good and so what I'm going to do is jump in here. We're going to go to a nice little foliage and then I will of course drop this down because we don't need the brush. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do foliage all the way around just to create like a nice little pond look kind of natural rather than just having that weird kind of cliff face. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done for all of them real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and got foliage in for all of them and they definitely look good. I think for this one, we'll probably do jets. I think it would look really cool just kind of coming in here. And so um, I think this looks really good. We definitely need to do some trees. I wanna do some rocks around the outside. We'll probably do that during a detailing time-lapse. Uh, but then I wanna come in here and we need to do some, a couple little things. So I wanna put in a restaurant space. So I think we're gonna do the restaurant on this side. But then we also need to do like a golf cart return. And so normally whenever you come to these places, um, you would come in here, drop your bag. Somebody would actually take your bag, go around and put it into a cart. And then it would have your name on the cart. And then you would kind of pick it up and go for whatever tea time you had. And that's for fancier places. Sometimes you just kind of walk around and do your own thing and then pick a cart. And it really all depends um, on like the level of golf course you're going to. But because this has this huge resort style building right here, I feel like this would definitely be top tier. And so we are going to create a uh, big little area over here for golf cart return and um, also cleaning. What they do is they, you know, wash them off or um, fill them up with air, recharge them, whatever they need, and then um, get them ready for guests maybe the next day, depending on when you went golfing or later in the day. And so what we'll do is we will come in here and I'm going to use these uh, surface networks for concrete just so that we can get a nice edge on here. I'm going to raise this up, go like right there. Perfect. And then we're going to come in here and just kind of clean this off. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. We will go like this and go all the way down. So we'll copy it right there and let's go ahead and bring it down again. We'll go like right there. And then what I would like to do is actually fill in this space as well. So we'll go ahead and go like that. And then let's um, go like this. Um, now I want to do is come in here and we are going to go to a hedge. Looks like I was already on it. So we will come over here and do a hedge all the way across. Nice. And so now we have a nice hedge going off of this. And so now I do want to come in here and go to golf carts. So we are going to go golf cart and we're going to grab this guy and we're going to do a line of them. So we'll say that the entrance is actually put a small building here. So let's do, let's look up a shack. So yeah, this one right here is perfect. So we'll come in here, lower that brush size. And maybe we'll actually make it a little bit better bigger so building let's actually delete that let's go into growables and let's go into industrial and look for Ooh, this is actually perfect so if we go ahead and convert that to a po yeah this is like the perfect style building um it even has the little things off the side so we'll go ahead and put that right there and this would be basically the like maintenance building for uh, all the golf carts and stuff so let's go ahead and grab that now. Okay, and there we go. So I ended up just switching it out real quick so that I could change that color. I went ahead and plopped it down by the road and then um, moved it on over here. And it's funny, it says laminate floors. I definitely don't like that. Ooh, I didn't even see that. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and change this out real quick. Okay, so I went ahead and chose this building because what we're really looking for is that kind of garage entrance um, area because what they do is they tend to park a lot of the golf carts inside maybe they're charging them or whatever they need and so now what we'll do is jump into rico and just turn this into a dummy building so that it doesn't go abandoned so we'll go to add local 
go into industrial dummy, change it to zero workers, turn off realistic mod, go to save and apply changes. Perfect. And I feel like this is fantastic. And so that would just be a maintenance building. That's why, I mean, sometimes they definitely are designed a little bit nicer. I feel like we probably could have found a nicer building, um, but I'm not too worried about it as a lot of them do tend to also just kind of look rugged like that. So let's now look up golf carts. We'll go to all. All right. And so we got our golf cart parking lot in there. And I feel like this actually looks really good. I don't really like this ledge, but um, playing around with the golf, uh, those networks is kind of tough. And so now what we'll do is we will come in here and we're going to create a couple little parking spaces for these because a lot of times you'll have these. So we're going to go like that. And then what we're going to do is grab this and I feel like it's yeah attached to that. So we're actually going to get rid of this. And what I'm going to do is come over here, draw it and then grab it and move it back. And what we're going to do is create a little parking space for these areas. So we will go up and yeah, we'll go like this again. Let's go ahead and right click out of there. Grab this, go like this. Yeah, perfect. And then we will go into find it and go to decals. So we'll come down here, go to decals and look for little parking spaces. Yeah, these are good right here. So I'll go ahead and place a couple of these down. It's kind of funny. A lot of times these end up being like little mini parking spaces. All right. And so all I'm going to do is go ahead and drag these, bring them all the way across. Yeah, go like that. And then I think I'm going to drop this down just a smidge. Let's see if we can get it. Let's go like right there. Let's see if we can drop this one down just a Yeah, you know what? That looks a little bit better. I do want to just move this one. Let's actually move this out. So we're going to move this. I put some grass networks in here to cover the ruining. So if we go like this, let's go ahead and grab that. Yeah, let's move this one as well. Yeah, we'll go like that. Perfect. Okay, so I got the little parking lot in and I think this looks really good. And so now what I want to do is come in here and we are going to place a couple of these down. So I'm going to convert this to a procedural object so that I can just place it down wherever I want to. I'm going to go ahead and place it like right here. And then what we're going to do is jump into our paths and we will do a path going right in front of it. And then we're going to do another little mini golf cart parking lot. A lot of times um, with these style courses or with golf courses in general, um, these will be areas that people will go to even if they're not golfing during that day. And so you want to try to make it as close to the clubhouse as possible. And so I feel like this is probably good. And then what we'll do is we'll come down here and grab our little piece of concrete. So we'll go like this, go like that. And then we will copy. Yeah, perfect. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill up this whole front side. So we'll go like this, go like that. And then we will go ahead and go over here as well. And then I am going to drop it down just to make it a little more level. And there we go. So we got a couple little golf cart spots and I think we'll even do maybe a couple little carts that are parked there. So we'll grab that. We'll come over here and we will drop this down just a smidge. We'll have these kind of parked in there. Just a couple of them. Not a lot. Maybe we'll put some right there. We'll go like this. So these would just be people who had driven over here and there now in the driving range, which I think this looks really good. I like it. We're going to come through and put some curbs in and do a lot of decorating. And so now, last but not least, what I want to do is come over here. We're actually going to use Surface Painter for this part because it is so large. So we're going to come this way and we will probably go like right about there. And let's go ahead and do a little patio off of this side feel like this would be good especially since it's got the view of the canal right there so probably go like right there and then I think in the front we're going to do some flower beds just turn it into a real nice area um, and then over here we're going to do uh, some curbs and make it you know really nice just a nice place to come and uh, play some golf and especially these places a lot of times they tend to be a little prestigious and so you want to make them into a nice area and so what I'm going to do is jump in here and I think we're going to go to decals and let's see what kind of decals we got. So here's the zoo and I actually really like the zoo and it's those small kind of tiles. So maybe we'll, um, we'll try out that zoo one. Yeah, I feel like this is going to work out fantastic. I like the darker color of it. So we will come all the way across and we'll bring it out to the edge right there. Nice. And so now we have a nice little seating area and there's really only a couple tables or a couple uh, doors. And it's kind of funny. So this would be probably where the golf shop would be right here, these doors. So you'd have the pro shop and then back here would be like a restaurant. So we are going to search up chairs. Let's go ahead and get out of decals first. That's uh, probably not the right spot. And let's, um, you know what, these ones look good. All so wooden table chairs. Let's go ahead and place some of these down and see. Yeah, these are perfect. Then we will go ahead and come across. Let's not have that, that light right in the middle. Yeah, we'll go like that. And so what I think I'm going to do now is go ahead and copy that on this side so that we'd have two seating areas and then we'll come through and I want to do a fountain right there and we'll, we'll do some planters and make this into a really nice spot. So I'm going to go ahead and put down those chairs real quick. Nice. I feel like that looks fantastic. I do want to come through and clean this up. And so I think over here we're going to end up doing a parking lot. Let's um, 
I think what I'm going to do is do one of those big parking lots so that I can do some planters and really make it into a nice spot. Okay, so here is our parking lot. And what I plan to do is put down some planters and everything and just turn it into a really nice spot. I feel like this has a lot of opportunity. Same with this front side. Um, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and jump into a detailing time lapse and I'm going to uh, place down some trees. I'm going to come in here and probably do some rocks around the outside. Um, we really need to do just a ton of trees. Uh, golf courses tend to have a lot of trees. But then I'm going to come through here, do some curves, and just make them look really nice. Put some planters in the parking lot. I'm going to come back here, do some uh, some planters as well. Probably some custom planters with some trees and then flowers. And um, just make it look really good. Same with back here. Kind of clean this up. Make it look good. Maybe even shorten this to end right there. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump into that. And I will be right back with you guys. Okay, so after probably way too long, I am finally done. It's kind of funny. I um, I think maybe because I play golf courses, I definitely kept going back to more details. I was like, man, I want to get more. So I put in jets in a lot of these, I think in a couple of them actually. So I did jets over here as well. Um, I didn't do jets in all of them because I feel like um, there's definitely not jets in all of them, but I felt like that was a good one. But then I did um, breakwater rocks all the way around this outside and I, I kept trees off of the edge since that would kind of be the hazard here is if you overshoot then you go into the water. And so a couple other things I did, I went through and put in trees all along the courses and next to the courses as well. So these would definitely be, if anybody's never played golf, um, these would definitely, these would be more hazards. So as you're playing down, you have to either go, you know, around the tree or try to go over them depending on how good you are and how far the shot is and stuff like that. And so 
Um, I think this looks really cool. For the main entrance, I went ahead and did flowers with a couple of trees in here. I did a couple of fountains with um, some of these purple trees in the middle. I felt like it was just a really nice touch. And then I got a little like golf shop. So this is like a exterior pro shop. This would be like a golf galaxy or something outside. And then there would still be a, a pro shop inside the building. But then I went ahead and just went all out on my parking lot back here. I don't do this often for my parking lots. And I felt like this was a really good opportunity for this. Um, it's definitely been a while since I've done little planters for them and really just gone out and made it look really good. Um, but then over here I did flowers and some more trees. I did the, the seating that you guys saw already. I did some planter networks back here just to kind of clean it up, create some space. It actually, look, actually looks like I need to put some benches back here. Um, and then, yeah, so I mean, this just looks, I did a lot. Um, there was a lot of trees, a lot of space, and I decided to leave a couple of it, a couple of bits empty because I felt like it was just gonna help create like a more, a deeper, a better vibe for this area. And so I think that it looks fantastic. I really like it. And for my first golf course, honestly, I think this is this came out really well. Go ahead and let me know in the comments what you guys think. On the next episode, we are going to be working on that private school as well as a little service complex over here and probably even a little waterfront area over here to kind of add on to our marina. I think it would be nice. If you guys have any suggestions, um, go ahead and let me know. We're also gonna be building out that um, freeway interchange over here. I think I'm gonna do a small tutorial for that. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on Wednesday.